All right, welcome back to another one of these fun videos that I know you guys love to watch. It's not Legend Bowl. It's not all pro football. It's golf. It's uh, not named yet, and I'm not sure how far I'm going to get with it, but I've been having some fun with it, and I've been trying to work on this while I need to stay away from the Legend Bowl code uh, because we have some things to do to get it upgraded. So I'm working on this. And the idea was to try to make a game that looked like the one I played in the last video, which was that side view, uh, cursed to golf type of thing, right? This is, this is basically what I'm shooting for in a sense, you know, I'm not going to do the same art. It's obviously not going to look the same but I thought maybe there might be a way to get a game with this kind of concept that I think can, you know, can do, can be fun, not even do well, can be fun. And doing well is another whole nother thing. So this is what I've been working on and don't mind the art. There's a legend mole guy here, obviously. And, um, what we can do here is we have different, if I, if I zoom out here, I kind of like go across, you guys can see, there's different terrain, right? There's concrete, there's green, the green fairway, light rough, medium rough, heavy rough, sand, concrete. And then it kind of just goes over again until the point where you basically hit water. So what we can do here is we can try to play around here. And what I've done is I've created that water shader, which I got off of uh, a tutorial I did online. Um, I built these rooms. I have three different rooms I'm going to go through. And I was trying to work on the ball physics, the way the ball lands, the different clubs. I put some sounds in the game and just really trying to get a feel for making this look like a real golf game. And the thing that's kind of like the thing I'm the thing I still need to kind of figure out, which this is the beginning is what is the swing mechanic going to be? I know people mentioned in the last video, they're like, do the click, the old school, click, 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 do the bars. And I'm not sure what I want to do yet. If I grab the controller, I can actually do. I can do a little bit more. I can like rotate the left stick. You guys can't see it, but I can rotate the left stick and then the right stick, what it will do. Actually, I turned it off. It's not even working now, but basically you can use a left stick and I really just want to find out what is the best way to do the mechanic. And that's going to be my next step. I don't know. I'm trying to think of ideas that I think would work and I don't really want to do the click, click, click type of thing. I want to do something different, but what does that mean? That means that I can either use, I mean, there's different methods. I mean, I've played every single golf game in history, practically I've almost every single one. And there's all different styles. There's the hot shot style where the bar, the bar goes left and right. And then they had like the new school one where you kind of like hit it and then hit it again at the top and then hit it again at the bottom, which was a different advanced shot technique for, I think it was hot shots golf four out of bounds for the PlayStation three or four. Um, and all the tiger woods games and they eventually went with the stick, the analog stick where you, you know, you pull it back and then you push forward. That's how a lot of games do it now. And I'm just trying to figure out what would be the best route to go. And if you guys have any ideas or you think of any cool mechanic in any other game, it could be any type of game, any genre where you throw something, where you're slaying something. I mean, anything that you think may be, you know, worth uh, investigating, let me know, put it in the comments. But what I want to do now is just kind of show you what I have. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the different grounds, like the terrain. So this is the... This is the, uh, the concrete basically, right? 
I don't know if the sounds good or not, but I'm trying to put the sound up so you can hear. I did put some sounds in here. I bought a sound package. So this is basically the uh, little chip shot here. And so that's the green. Let's go to the green now. And I added a trail to the ball. I mean, I've done a lot to the to this game so far. So the green, you know, the green, depending on how hard you're hitting it towards the green, like if I do one of these numbers, it's going to roll a little bit more. If I do a little bit higher up in the air, which I think I'll get there, at least I'll get there here. You know, it's a little bit softer. If we want to go to the fairway, fairway, you know, runs a little bit less than the, uh, not a little bit, quite a bit less than the green. Then we have light rough, rough. Then we have the medium rough. And then let's check out the heavy rough. The heavy rough is going to slow it down quite a bit after the first bounce. Sand obviously is very, very like stiff. It'll roll maybe a little bit. See, it barely did much. And these physics can be improved. They're not perfect. And then this is just a long shot. Just showing off that you can do, you know, longer shots. Now, if I want to hit like a driver and just smash it, I can do that. And I mean, there's actually water here. So if you want to see the water effect. I don't have a splash, but you know, it goes in the water that way. Now let's go to a different uh, thing here. So I want to just throw it in the water here. I can do that if I can hit it. Boom. There's the water. It's kind of cool, right? And then if I want to go out to, there's a green out here. Let's check it out. So if I want to come out to this green, check out what it looks like. That's an extra piece of water there sticking up. I got to delete that. Um, but it's kind of cool because I can, I'll show you in a second how the water works, but this is a pretty nice green I can hit. Let's try to hit this green. My arrow got screwed up here. Oh, it's because when I move the camera, it moves with the air. Like it also moves the trajectory. That's okay. This is all just debugging, all just fun prototyping. Let me put the volume down a little bit. So I know the game's early, early on. So I don't need to hear any comments about, oh, this game's trash. It's not sim. We don't need to hear that. <laughs> But I think it's pretty damn cool. And you can make it in the hole too. Let's see if I can make this. It's gonna be a little short. Let's do it again. I've been having a blast with this, by the way. It's been fun. And I'm a big golf fan, so keep that in mind. See, that ball stuck pretty nice. And you could just rapid fire these all day long. <laughs> now I have it zoomed into the ball, so you're not gonna really see anywhere else let's see if we can just make that. I could sit here all day and do this I mean this is this is why I know it's not going to be a great you know final game but I can definitely feel the fun in just sitting here and trying to make it in this hole like it's fun for me to do this this isn't just me like testing I feel like it's kind of cool to do and that's part of the process. The process is trying to figure out if this would be any fun. And boom, in the hole. Now, the one thing is I don't have, let me see this other board here. I have some other things here. Like on this one here, I can try to chip it into the uh, hole here. I can do, try to do a hole in one. So I could sit here all day and do this. <laughs> Boom. Yes. And it goes in every time. I wish I could do this in real life. But the idea, so, I mean, if you put art into this game, I have a game. Like, it's not a full game. It's just a, like a training range type of facility thing. You know, and you can, you know, you can look at all the different holes and, you know, check out the, 
Camera went all the way out here. Yeah, I'm moving the angle every time. Go back. I'm trying to see what's on this board. I think the camera's pretty far out to the right. So let's just hit some balls. I need to get my arrow back. It's all the way in the bottom. You can't see it. The arrow probably should be in front of the, the actual uh, layer of the, the ground. Let's hit a big shot here. See where we can find. So that's part of the thing. Like I don't have the view set up where you can see everything right now. But there's a hole right there. Let's try to hit that hole. See if we can hit this hole here. Like there's a there's like a floating hole up here. Oh, maybe I took it away. So you have your angle, you have your velocity. Obviously, you can see that. And then um, let's pick another one here. So like this one, this one's cool because that's a driver. Or no, that's an iron. That's a three wood. That's a driver. <laughs> That's awesome. Like a little iron shot, chip shot, pit shot, chip shot, little chip shot. So like, it's fun. Like, I mean, I know that it's not the final game and I know that I'm going to have issues when it comes to the green. Like if I'm putting basically like on this one here, let me just do it here. This is a fairway, by the way. So let's do this. Let's open up the room. One of these rooms here. Let's open up the terrain room. So you can kind of see one of them. Like I said, one of them before was had a, uh, I think it was the Island one. Had a, I thought I had a piece of water sticking up. I felt like one, one of these did. I just forget which one it is now. Anyways, so if we go to, let's just do this one here. So if we take like this all right here and we just copy it, paste it. Whoops. Did it paste? No, there you go. I paste that and I basically put it here. I'm just trying to match it up. And then we just take this piece and just slide them out. And then let's take our dude. And let's just move them. Let's see what happens there. So you could do, you could do a lot with these editors, these room editors. So let's move to that board. I think it's this one. And then like, if we want to putt, Oh, that's the water right there. Uh oh, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do. That went in the hole and in the water. It's floating around the water. That's kind of funny. <laughs> so you can put like this is the these are the this is how the games that I was that I was testing kind of do the putting. It's all based on just the power. There's nothing to do with the aiming. So but I think if you, I think if you can get the speed part of it to be more sensitive, so we're like, if you overly hit it by just a little bit or under hit it by a little bit, you're going to miss it. All right. Like this hole right now is way too big. It's going to fall in there every time. But if I were to take out, let me just take out the water here. And if I were to make these ones closer like a lot closer. Let's see what happens now. Cause really what, what you need to do is you need to worry about really my biggest like challenge right now in thinking about this game is the swim mechanic and then also the putting. Cause you don't want the putting to be super easy. Putting is the most difficult part of golf. See, it went right over. See, that was pretty good. Might be too sensitive, but. Now, if I do a little bit more, see, it goes right over. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. If we could do something like that, 
or even that slightest bit will miss the ball. I mean, maybe it's a little bit too tight, but see, that works. So it would be a fun, and I call it little game, but you know me, I, I, I don't like little small games. I want the game to be something that's fun, but also very challenging. So the way that I picture it, it would be you playing on a tour of some sort with a leaderboard, like I just showed you a minute ago with the, uh, with the Curse to Golf game. You're basically playing in this type of atmosphere and you have hills, you have trees that get in your way. I mean, I would literally put trees in the middle and you need to hit over the tree or maybe you hit the tree and the ball bounces off. Like here, I know I have a board where um, one of these boards has like a tree right there, right? If I wanna just put a tree on this one for fun, well, let's just do it. Let's just take this one as an example. So let's just say there's a tree right there. And let's bring it up a little bit, which obviously you know what's gonna happen. So I have all the collisions working so you can bounce off the tree. Let's see if I can hit it. So that, that's what it basically would do. It would be like, bong. And then I would make a noise or, you know, it'd, it'd ruffle down the tree or it'd bounce off depending on, you know, the randomness. But then you would have to worry about hitting over the tree. So if the tree was right in front of you, so if I take it, if I take this guy and I move him right here, right? Then I literally have to go over this tree to get to the green. So, I mean, that's basically the scope of this like prototype so far. And I'm really like excited about it. I think it's going to be cool. I think the idea has some potential and I would even have things like a bird in the, in the air that would be flying by. And if you hit the bird, the bird knocks the ball down, you know, things like that, obviously obstacles, trees, hills, uh, bunkers as i mentioned if i hit the sand here you're going to see how it goes in the bunker again but you could do a lot with the side view you can do a lot of which is why that curse to golf game is going to do probably pretty well is because it has a lot of challenge to it where you're where you're knocking the ball around it's almost like playing pool you know where you're trying to hit the ball in certain directions or like those old school pool games. I forget what you call them, where they have the bumpers everywhere and you got to find your way around the bumpers. It's, it's that kind of challenge where you can have things in a side view, just like in a platformer, in a platformer, 2d platformer, you have to jump over terrain and hills and obstacles and tunnels and go up and down and through the whole thing. And this game wouldn't be where, you, you know, one thing I wouldn't want to do, but you never know is make it so arcadey where it's like, you know, you, you get a card and you unlock something and you like the, the ball has a power up and it's, I don't think I'm going to do that, but you never know where it could, where it could go. And I guess what I'm trying to figure out is can I make a, a simulation slash case of Simcade kind of like legend bowl, but with golf and in 2d, can you do it? You know, is it something that, that makes sense. And I could just play around here all day long because it's fun. I could just do like some chipping. So I have the construct built. I have the prototype built. Is it perfect? No, but it's 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 close. Like it's it's there. If I had the terrain and I built an actual course and I had the art, which you know, the art could be something I get later on, I could totally build out an entire like course and make it look just like the curse to golf game that I was showing you a second ago. And I could play around and then, you know, every hole one, you know, when I hit it in the hole, I'll obviously would have the code that, you know, that obviously would, would, uh, this is hard. That's where I think putting could be cool because it has to be the perfect putt. I can make it a little bit bigger than that. See, it almost went in. There you go. 
and then you have to get really good on your putting. So then it becomes, what is the mechanic? What would be the mechanic that would make this shine and make this work really well? And that's kind of where, where I'm at here. And like you said, you could, you could find all things, all ways. I mean, one thing I, I added spin in the game. So like when you're hitting on the green, it spins back, it spins and slows down faster, but I don't have it to where it spins back yet. But th this is so easy to do compared to football. Like I have most of it, like I said, most of it coded. Like even if I want to try to hit this hole here, it's a big hole. So it's easier to hit, you know, but boom. So there's potential. And you can also have like a baby course where you could just do like training and you could even have a miniature golf thing. There's a lot that you could do with this. And I think I could get this done within six months max we, between like, I would like to have this fully coded in like three months and then take another couple months to polish and fix bugs and then take a month to market it and, and put it out there. And it could be called something, you know, I don't know the name yet, but it would be something that where you could be like, okay, this is, this is like a, a fun, cool golf game. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you think this is cool. I'm going to keep rolling with this until I get bored, but I think it has legs. I'm moving fast enough where I think I can actually build something out. And this just looks cool. I mean, even with the blocks, even with the way I have the art right now, I love the way it looks. And if I zoom out here, which not working perfectly, but you can kind of see if I bring the, if I bring the, uh, it's kind of cool to see it just like, like that too, you know, and I could just slam it. Boom. Maybe there's a way I hit off the cart path there. That's awesome. Boom. So maybe there's a way that, um, you know, you can zoom out and zoom in the camera. I mean, the camera's not a, it's cameras are annoying. And it's one of those things where once you set it, you kind of forget it. So I'm still having to work that out in this game. And I always get annoyed with that whenever I work on games because I'm, I'm not the best when it comes to cameras. But once you have the cameras figured out and you can feel the terrain out, like, look, like there's the sand, obviously. If I'm gonna hit here, see it slows down differently. If I hit in the heavier rough, it slows down faster. If I hit in the short, like we did earlier, this is just fun. Like this is just, for me, this is cool because it's something, A, it's something different. And like the green is a lot faster. Obviously that's a lot faster. I mean, if I just jump it, I, I wonder if that's even going to stop. I wonder if I could just stop the ball. Does it even stop on the car path? Probably just rolls forever. <laughs> it eventually would stop. This is a cool, this is a cool view because it's not so close, close up. I haven't really done this view much. I just played around with it a minute ago. But I'm telling you like within, within what, two days, I have something that I'm actually having some fun with, you know, like I know it's not this perfect, awesome game, but within two days to be having like some kind of gameplay that feels fun. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to keep rolling with this. I really need to figure out, like I said, let's recap. So in summary, I need to figure out a swing mechanic, the putting. I think I have what I just did there. I think I have the right like goal. I just need to figure out the mechanics. So what are the mechanics going to be for swinging and hitting the golf ball? I need to figure that out. I can go with the old school way of doing it. I don't really want to do that. I want to find something that's new and different. And um, like you can also do the line. So like, you know, if you wanted to do the, uh, let me see that I lose my, yeah, the GUI is all messed up now, but like doing those lines where it's dot, 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 and it follows the, the ball along. I could do that too. That's an idea, but something that makes it challenging, but I want it to feel sim. I want you to feel like you have some strategy involved. You obviously are going to want to be able to move the camera around, but you also need to be able to understand like what you need to be able to understand, like, how to get good at the game, right? 
So there has to be some strategy that you can learn and not just randomly kind of guess or jot down all these angles and velocities to figure out how far the ball goes. So when you're aiming somewhere, you need to kind of figure that out. And that's where one of those, you know, one of the dots that would be like, you know, where it would, where it would extend along the arc and show you the path before you hit it. That would be an easy way to, you know, to at least figure out if I hit it perfectly, this is where it's going to go. And then you have the mechanic that, that changes that, right? Like unless you hit it perfect, it's going to go a little short, a little long, a little high, a little low, and you could even shank it. And that might be what I end up doing. I just need to figure out what is it going to be. And it's all timing based, typically a golf swing. So some type of, I, it would be cool to do the controller and do like an elastic thing where you like pull back and then you got to flick it forward before something happens, like something cool like that. So I really want to figure that part out. But if I can get the mechanic down, then, like I said, this game is close to being something I can play. And then I have to just put the art in, put the, like wrap the, I mean, it's not simple, by the way. There's a lot to do with games. Trust me. I realized that a long time ago. And uh, basically what I have to do is like, I, first thing I'd probably do, I'd love to be able to make a one, like one full hole. And then once I have a hole, then put the code that manages like the actual round. So it's like, okay, what's your score? What's the win looking like? All that good stuff. And then once you, you know, make it in the hole, you're recording your score and all that. And, and that would be awesome to be able to have that in the game. And I could actually start doing that right now. Like I can build that out where it's like, okay, this is hole one. And then you have 18 holes and you have to, you know, finish the round. I could do that with what I have right now. I don't need art for that, but it would be nice to have the art. So anyways, I just want to share this with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, it's Friday. By the way, Legend Bowl's on sale. You can get it right now for 40% off on the Steam store. It's also on Epic. If you don't like to go to Steam, you can go to Epic. I think it's 20% off right there, right over there right now, um, as of the date of this video. So go check it out, go pick it up and play some football and think about golf in the meantime. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.